So, what's up? Why the urgency? Yeah, well, remember I told you about the cartel interest in buying companies? A group in Boquero con it cartel backing is buying companies now. Mostly transportation companies in Aztecas and in Central America. Entonces? They use those companies to move people around. You know, to get them legal papers like driver's license and passports. Any details? I found out that one of the companies is called CITAC. He's been receiving shipments from Balboa and moving containers across Aztecas and directly into, into the U.S. How do they get by customs? Customs officials under the payroll. Can you get me names? That will be very difficult. Will some bonus money make it any easier? You better get going before they miss you. You're getting better at this. No, not better. It's getting more dangerous. I have to be more careful. The situation is out of control. The assassination of DEA agent Francisco Ortiz and his reporting source are the third and fourth killings in two months. We have to determine who is behind this. It doesn't sound like the drug cartels. The president wants to know what's going on. Ms. Myers, maybe it would be helpful for me to recap what we know. Sure, go ahead. Now, two weeks ago, a CIA developmental in Corozal was shot to death shortly after a lunch meeting with a station officer. One week ago, a DIA asset working for one of the Cordoban families disappeared in this area here. He was a money launderer with links to a company in Boquero. Now, a group of ecotourists found what was left of his body in a jungle preserve outside of Corozal. And we all know what happened yesterday. So. What are we doing to connect the dots? And do we think terrorists are involved? We have a few leads. The CIA developmental killed in Corozal was a banker who financed the purchase of a trucking company in Aztecas by a consortium located in Boquero with funds from Lebanon. Interesting connection. That's a lead worth following. What else? Not much else yet. And we're still trying to find out if the DIA asset was compromised or just robbed. Community analysts are working the banking transactions, and we'll come up with something soon. And the meeting where our agent was killed was unscheduled. The informant had something important to report that couldn't wait till the next scheduled meeting. Any idea what the issue was? No, ma'am. All right, we need to do more. We have to evaluate the operation's security posture at the embassy and determine if there are any technical vulnerabilities. We have to determine how they're getting to us. Jim. Can you take a technical and OPSEC risk assessment team down to Corozal, speed up the investigation there without stepping on toes at the embassy? Yes, ma'am. Any objections? Good. Jeff, give the ambassador in Corozal a hand.